The market requirements for simulation continue to grow and the idea of getting more and more people into a simulator is, is a good idea because it's obviously much less expensive than actual flight time. So rather than have one large simulator uh, with a very, very big, very large investment, we're able to produce uh, smaller simulators with perhaps even a better overall experience for a much lower cost. Start out with raw material, uh, flight quality switches, um, same tactical feel that you'd have in the airplane. Uh, ergonomics is the same. The wire that we use inside the grip, uh, depending on the grip itself, uh, 24 gauge Teflon coated wire. Um, some of it is 28 gauge, depending on uh, how many switches may be in the grip, depending on, on room uh, to uh, run all the wires. Uh, this particular setup is a 37 pin connector, set up as a quick disconnect uh, to go on top of our mechanism. Uh, this 22 that I'm building here, um, if you need to, for some reason, have trouble with the grip, you can take one off and put another one on and you're flying again in just a matter of minutes. What we're looking at here is a F-18 throttle, F-18E uh, to be uh, specific, mounted on desktop plate. The TDC that we have here was totally designed and built in-house along with our L-wheel. Uh, it's designed in-house, uh, we produce it right here. A lot of competitors out there produce their own. Uh, we feel ours is superior to theirs in, uh, in both look and feel. Uh, today, one of the things you're going to see as you walk in to the display area is a simulator that has been put together using 10 cones as, uh, the, as the screen device that we're going to use. And in front of those cones will be a cockpit with flight controls that's fully integrated in the visual display system. You'll notice in this visual display system that uh, you're going to see images that are drawn in uh, focused, drawn out and focused at infinity with near eye limiting resolution and uh, you should walk away with an experience that makes you think you've been in your real aircraft when you leave here. Bug Egg Technologies is a spin-out company out of the Boeing Aircraft Company. The name was derived from the uh, geometric uh, shapes of the lenses that formed the dome. And when you look at it, it looks like a bug's eye. It's a 10-window prototype system that's been integrated with the uh, Bug Eye Technologies multi-purpose cockpit. It's featuring the Bug Eye FC-1000 series controls in an F-18 type configuration. So we're going to actually be able to sit in the cockpit, fly an airplane with an active heads down, but really with this incredibly immersive out the window display. So the VMD is really a pretty simple device. We start off with an LCD flat panel display and we add an optical element. This optical element is the Fernell lens, which is a custom piece built just for the VMD. And these are joined by a cone-like structure and together this creates a visual module. There are four unique shapes to these visual modules and you can see them when we look at the VMD here in a minute. These shapes are added 16 times. Okay, there's 16 of these shapes to create a facet and then we add 12 facets, join those together or tessellate those and we come up with a complete sphere.